Hello Leo, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star Star Star, and welcome to your reading. So this is your reading for the month of March. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. In this reading, Leo will see what is your energy, what you need to know for the month of March, and energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with, you will be dealing with. So let's get started now. There is an extended reading for this one. The link is in description box and comment section. Okay. Leo, what you need to know? What is your energy for the month of March? What do you need to know? Two of Cups. Interesting, Leo. So, Two of Cups is telling me that there are some promising partnerships that are happening in the month of March. The uh, energy, the what is standing out for the month of March is <clears throat> partnerships are significant and I also feel like you'll find yourself being surrounded by people for majority of the time or you will seek companionships, you will seek partnerships, you will seek collaborations, you will seek new people, new friends, okay? There will be this urge to be a social animal. There will be this urge to uh, urge to be with someone, either for romantic reasons. I mean, uh, of course, two of cups is primarily romantic. So the urge to be romantically associated with someone will be there. But apart from that, I also feel, Leo, that you will be like, I want to do this task today and I want to do it with someone. I want to clean up my home. I want to do it with my roommate. I want to do it with my partner. I want to do it. I'm, I'm going to take help of my pet. You will be seeking companionships. Okay. That's what I feel for you guys for the month of March. The devil. Uh, apart from that, I do feel like the energy that you have in the month of March is very extraordinary. Okay. There will be a lot of fiery energy that you will experience. And because of that, you will try to put that increased energy towards the right purposes. I mean, you will try to use that uh the, the surge in the energy that you're going to experience towards right purposes. And also because of that, I feel like you will be, you will come across as very workaholic, very busy person in the entire month of March. Okay. Uh, you People around you might say that you're obsessed with work. People around you might say that, I mean, it will be either work or a couple of other things. You might be working on certain projects or you might be working on personal goals weight gain, weight loss, whatever your goals are, you will be obsessed with that. Okay. And the devil is also telling me that there will be, there will be uh, times in the month of March where you might feel acidic or uh, you might experience indigestion related issues I mean, uh, this might be applicable for a very specific few of you, but probably this is something universe wants me to convey. And this is happening because you will be literally high on energy. There is so much of energy that you're going to experience and not all is will get consumed on a daily basis. Okay. So there will be certain excess energy that will be stored within your body. And because of that, you might experience some heat related problems. You might feel... Like other people around you might be feeling cold, but you might feel like uh, it's it's so hot today. You might feel something like that. Okay. Uh, King of Swords. King of Swords is telling me that there is uh, something that you are doing and probably you're doing in a very uh, secretive manner. Uh, you're not letting anyone else know what you're doing. And I think so many of you are doing something already. Like you are doing some sort of side hustle. 
you are doing something else as well okay so it is quite possible that people around you or people that know you they are doubting or they will have doubts like leo is doing something in his or her life okay and i want to know what is going on in leo's life like how leo is making money okay what is the bread and butter for leo okay is it uh, is it through a 9 to 5 job or leo is doing something else or uh, or probably is leo is ha- is on social media um, or leo is doing a business nobody knows like what are you doing maybe you tell them like yeah i'm working here and uh, at this xyz organization which might not be true so in the month of march people might become curious regarding whatever you're doing you might find that people are becoming nosy about your business which you will not appreciate and that's why you will tighten the security more <laughs> that's what i'm getting with the king of swords like if you notice that someone is trying to know regarding your life regarding whatever you're doing or regarding any damn thing about your life you will you will make sure that nothing slips out of your mouth and you will make sure that nobody knows at all whatever is going on in your life okay that's what i'm i'm getting with king of swords like there is some a z plus security that you're going to follow <laughs> when it comes to your life uh all right let's talk about your love life okay queen of wands queen of wands is telling me probably uh, leo that you had Im- imposed some restrictions on on yourself okay there was so, some self imposed limitations uh, either consciously or at a subconscious level you had put on yourself uh, that's why you you probably your love life did not happen so far or probably uh, whoever entered in your life they were not meant for you and probably whatever i mean the reason why there were these restrictions you had imposed on yourself because you were chasing certain goals okay you wanted to reach somewhere and i think so wherever you wanted to reach either you have already reached there or it's not far away i mean if you watch this card very closely she is a queen where is she sitting she is sitting on a throne okay so and to become a king or a queen it's not easy job okay to sit on that throne is not an easy job uh, you have to work hard you have to come a long way okay you have to overcome a lot of challenges and maybe you were focused on certain things in your life and that's why when it comes to love uh, it had taken a back seat because of your other priorities but now in the month of march i think so love is is becoming a priority for you and that's why the first card was two of cups like you're mentally and you're you're emotionally ready leo to invite someone in your life okay and that's what i see because of this readiness it is quite likely that you might attract someone who is just like you okay who is who is as strong emotionally financially just like you Uh, who is doing very well in his or her life okay four of swords you will you will you will sort of feel that someone is thinking about you in the month of march okay this can be someone whose birthday is in march uh this can be someone from the past this can be someone that you have met online this can be someone you i mean it is also quite possible that this person has access to you i mean they are able to see you on a regular basis so this can be someone from a workplace this can be someone in the neighborhood there is someone who is thinking about you a lot and their thoughts about you are really strong i mean it is quite possible that they might be thinking quite frequently about you and because of the fact that they are thinking so intensely and so frequently about you you are feeling their energy and your mind will be on this quest to find like who is thinking about me whose energy i am feeling at a subconscious level leo you will start manifesting this person in your life you will be like i want to know who is thinking i want to know whose energy i am feeling right now 
who is thinking about me why they are thinking about me i want to know i want to see this person i want to meet this person i want to talk to the, uh, talk to them why they are thinking okay so at a subconscious level you will start manifesting this person so it is a cycle if you see this that person is thinking about you you are feeling their thoughts you are feeling their energy and then you are manifesting this person because you want to know who they are why they are thinking so it's a cycle it is starting from them and it is ending at them right so the death and rebirth so it is quite possible leo because we have two of cups over here it is quite possible that someone from your past life is coming towards you okay uh, a past life soulmate a, a twin flame maybe someone from the past life is coming towards you a situation that ended long 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 time ago that is getting resurrected for some of you this can be someone uh, for some of you this can be an ex but i don't feel like Uh, like majority of you want your ex back i feel like you want someone new i mean new when i say new you want someone whom you haven't met in this lifetime okay you were not in a relationship with that person in this lifetime so death and rebirth is telling me that yes you are reigniting a situation with your past life lover okay and i think so the energy that you are feeling it is this person's energy a past life soulmate okay i think so both of you are calling one another and that's why there is so much of eagerness and that's why you are ready mentally emotionally you are ready at the right time okay you have become ready this person is sending energy towards you and now they are coming towards you to either to finish the business that was unfinished in the past lifetime or to reignite a situation in this lifetime all over again okay but someone from the past lifetime is coming towards you leo get ready for that i hope this resonates hit like share and subscribe comment down below link for the extended is in description box and comment section okay in the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you what action they will take towards you likely conclusion between you and this person all right leo take care have a great time and bye bye